Hey everyone, I'm Corinne with Corinne Fox Fit, and today I'll be leading you through a 15 minute total body workout for beginners. This workout is designed to help increase your heart rate, get you moving and feeling good. We have five exercises. Each exercise we'll do for 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. We'll do a total of three full circuits. All you'll need is an exercise mat beneath you. And if you happen to have a set of light weights, go ahead and grab those. I have my, I have a pair of three pound weights today. Also, if you don't have weights, you can use something from around the house, such as shampoo, conditioner bottles, or jars, or cans of things. But if you don't have any weights at all, that's no problem. You can still do this workout. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. For our first exercise, we are going to march in place. You can also do this exercise seated in a chair. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our knee up to tap our hands. So knee, tap, tap, tap. Just really drawing the knees up high for these marches. Get ready, get set, and go. So making sure you're not rounding or hunching over. We're standing nice and tall, drawing the knee up, hands in front so we can just have a point to touch the knee or attempt to touch the knee to the hand. Good. And as you're here, as you're marching in place, think about drawing that belly button in and back towards the spine. So we're engaging the core even while we're marching. And if you'd like, again, you can sit down and do this as well in a chair. Good, you guys, keep going. Awesome. Woo, you got this. I'm so happy you're here. Sometimes the hardest part is showing up for yourself. Good, three, two, and one, and rest. Next exercise will be a little arm exercise. So if you have free weights, go ahead and grab those. I'm using my three pounds. So grab something light, whatever or whatever is, feels good for your strength level. We're going to start with the arms nice and wide. Draw them in, one, out, in, two, out, and then go into four punches, all right? Here we go, get ready, get set, and go. Out, in, out, in, one, two, three, four. Out, in, out, in, one, two, three, four. Good, you guys. Move at your own pace. I'd rather you go slow and not too fast. Good. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. You got this, you guys, you are strong. You are awesome. You can do hard things. You are here, I'm so happy. Woo, keep going. Breathe through it. Three, two, and one. You can set those weights down if you're using them. Shake out the arms a little bit, roll the shoulders back. Next, we're gonna go into a squat. So you only need one weight for this. If you wanna use two, you can. We're gonna step out wide, feet angled out, and we're gonna draw our weight down. From here, we're gonna bend into the knees, knees stacked over ankles, and find this little sumo squat. So get ready, get set, and go out and up, out and up. Good. Sumo squats here, working our glutes, working our quads. Do the best you can. If you ever need to pause and then go back into it, you totally can. It's your body, do what feels best for you. Breathe, keep the, the back nice and and flat the chest up. Good, you guys, almost there. Next, we're gonna make our way down to our backs. <sighs> Breathe. We've got three, two, and one. All right, come on down to your back. Hold both weights if you're using them. We're gonna draw our legs to tabletop, arms above the chest, 
so that the palms are facing each other. And now we're moving into a little core exercise. We're gonna tap the toes down and draw them back up. Tap the toes down and draw them back up. Get ready, get set, and go. The most important thing here to make sure we're engaging our core, our low belly, we wanna press, really press that low back into the mat, all right? Press that low back into the mat. And then you should feel a little activation there in the core. Feel a little shakiness maybe. Do the best you can. If it's easier, you can alternate the toe taps. So you don't have to draw both feet down at the same time. Good, you guys. Keep it up. We, you are doing amazing. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. All right. Slowly standing back up. We're going to do some jumping jacks. Now, option to do regular full jumping jacks or option to modify. I'm gonna show the modification um, the way that you might do it here in this video. So if you're doing um, regular jumping jacks, you can go into those like this. But if you're doing those modified jumping jacks like I will be, you're gonna step out wide with one foot and the arm comes out, out and out. All right, get ready, get set and go. Kind of like a star in a way. So yeah, you're still getting your heart is still pumping. This is still a challenge to the heart. We're getting that heart rate up, stepping out, out together, out together. And especially if you have sensitive knees, this is a great option to do because you're taking out the jump. So it's lower impact. Good, you guys. Woo. You feel that heart rate getting up. You're doing amazing. We're moving our bodies. Three, two, and one rest. Good, you guys. That was the first circuit. We have two more circuits to go. So we're coming back to the top of the circuit, which is marching in place. Take a couple deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, here we go. Circuit number two, get ready, get set, and go. Tap the knee to the hands, march in place. Woo, you got this. When we move our bodies, we feel better, right? Mentally and physically. It doesn't have to be intense. What you're doing right now is enough and is wonderful, and I'm proud of you. Keep going. Keep going, knee, tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. March it out. Good. Woo. Next exercise, remember, we're gonna grab the weights if you're using them, out, in, out, in, and four punches. Good, you guys, three, two, and one. Grab those weights. Ooh, take a couple breaths, really nice job. Make sure when you're moving through this next exercise, the arms are out shoulder length and the elbows are slightly bent. Get ready, get set, and go. Out, in, out, in, punch, one and two and three and four. Out, in, out, in, punch, one, two, three, four, good. Breathe through it. We wanna use our breath to help with the movement. You got this. Woo, you guys are doing great. Keep up the good work. Don't give up. Almost there, you guys. We've got three, two, and one. Good, if you're using those weights, set one down, set up, get ready for our sumo squats, feet out nice and wide, angled out slightly. 
weight down, shoulders back. Here we go, sumo squats. Ready, set, and go. Bend, and then press up through the heels. Knees wide in this squat, press up through the heels. Good, you guys. We're moving our bodies, doing something so, so good, taking care of ourselves, right? Good. How are you guys doing? Awesome, you guys. Keep it up. Remember, next we're moving to the mat on our backs, going into our little core workout, core exercise. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right. Take it down to the mat, my friends. Oh, my knee just popped. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, so start palms facing each other, pressing that low back into the mat. Get ready, get set, and go. Tap the toes down, draw them back up to tabletop. Tap and draw them back up. Mind to muscle. So we're working our low belly and we're working our low back. The core is all connected, so press that low back into the mat. Feel the maybe the shakiness, the strain in the low belly as you tap the toes down and draw them back up. You got this, guys. You are strong. You are amazing. I'm proud of you for being here and taking this time to do what's best for you. Good. Next, we have our jumping jacks. Good, three, two, and one. Rest. Really nice work, you guys. Slowly stand back up. We're gonna go into our last exercise in our second circuit. You guys are doing amazing. So either choose full jumping jacks or like what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do those modified jumping jacks. So less impact. Um, a little bit easier on the knees. Get ready, get set, and go. Good. Nice job, you guys. This is our last exercise of the second circuit. And then we've only got one more to go. Woo, oh yeah. Nice, you guys, keep moving. Yes. You got it, keep going. Breathe, almost there. Three, two, and one. Woo, you guys are amazing. We have one more circuit to go. We're in the home stretch. Don't give up, stay here. We're going back into our final set of marching in place. Here we go, you guys. Three, two, one, and march in place. Good, get those knees up. Draw that belly button in and back towards the spine. Make sure you're drawing the knees up and the chest is not rounding. Chest stays up. Good, you guys. Working it really nice. Woo, getting that heart rate up. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there with this exercise. We've got five, four, three, two, and one, we rest. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, you guys, last round now of our out in, out in with the arms and four punches. So grab your weights if you're using them. My handy dandy three pound weights. I love, I love these weights because it's just enough resistance. Good, ready, set, and go. Keep the knees slightly bent. So we don't want to lock 
the knees here. Good. Out, in, out, in. Good. You got this. Breathe through it. And on those punches, get out any anxiety or stress you might be feeling right now in this moment. Let it, let it out. Let it go. Punch it out. Almost there, you guys. Next, we have our sumo squats. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Amazing work, you guys. Here we go. Setting ourselves up for sumo squats. Feet wide, angled out slightly. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Here we go. Ready, set, and squat. Down and up. Down and up. Good. You got it. Keep going. We're working our glutes. Breathe. Awesome work, you guys. We're almost there with this one. Then we're down to our backs again for our toe taps. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, you guys. Let's come down to the mat. Woohoo! You guys are doing so good. I'm just so happy you're here. Keep going. Don't give up. Press that low back into the mat. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Toe taps. Down and up. Down and up. Keep holding those weights above the chest if you have them. Good. We're building core stability and strength here. When we have a strong core, we have a strong back. This can help with reducing back pain, which is always a good thing. Good, you guys. Almost there. You're doing great. Woo. Keep going. We've got three, two, and one. Awesome work, you guys. All right. Slowly standing back up for our last exercise in our third and final circuit. Get ready for those jumping jacks. Do the best you can. Give it your all. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Jumping jacks. Modified or regular. Whatever feels best for you. Good. Out wide and in if you're doing the modification. Whew. Moving our bodies. Feeling good. Yes. Whew. You got this. Don't give up. We're almost there. Good. Woo. Here we go. We're almost there. We've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Rest, shake it out, shake it out. Take a deep breath in, draw the arms up. Exhale, arms come down. High five, you guys, virtual high five. Yes, I'm so proud of you for doing this, ex this workout. I hope you enjoyed this 15 minute total body workout for beginners. Let me know what you think in the comments below of how you feel, um, or let me know how you feel after this workout and what you thought of this video. I hope you guys feel good. I'm proud of you for doing this video and taking time out for yourself. Stay hydrated and I will see you soon. Bye.